Hello guys and welcome back to some more Let's Play Europe Universalis 4 as Karaman. A uh, quick little thing I want to say before I start this. Um, this is... Well, there's been an episode that has been skipped. And that is because I forgot to record it. That might sound a little bit weird, but I guess I just sat down and thought I had, I had, I had hit the record button. But I just hadn't done it. Don't ask me how that happened, but whatever. It was pretty much a boring episode regardless. I don't remember exactly what I did in that one, but uh, I know that Sukutai has been annexed. I don't know how many years have passed, but I haven't done any major wars though. Although I don't remember if I finished off the um, the conflict involving uh, Great Britain and France and whatnot. But, uh, so, but if I didn't show off that, then basically what happened was that I peaced out, France decided to become a douchebag, and since that happened, I've been doing nothing but trying to prepare for a war against the Ottoman Empire. Simply because I feel like it. And because I think it's, I mean, you guys have been just raging non-stop about, non-stop in the comments about me, uh, shooting in, should, that I should, the fact that I should invade the Ottoman Empire. So I will indeed try and do that. Um, and yes, I think those are the two mo you know, remaining primary goals that I want to invade. I want to invade the Qing and the Ottomans. Those are like the... Well, and Crimea, because I want these lands for Persia. But that's really... That's really all there is to it. So, yeah. Let's play. And I also read a quite a useful comment talking about how I am fielding a lot of outdated units, because I was raging on about how my units weren't really, um, they weren't really, they, they were, the morale of the units were really bad, and I didn't understand it, but of course, what I have not been paying attention to is the fact that I've been using outdated mercenaries to fight my wars for me. Uh, you look at Caroline Infantry, that's super outdated compared to my other troops. Uh, yeah, f so I'll, I'll, yeah, the Frederickian, that's pretty new, and Latin Dragoons, that's, yeah, Royal Mortar, I think the vast majority of these are new. Only these Caroline Infantries are bad, so let's get rid of them. And let's instead re-recruit some new ones. It's gonna postpone the war a little bit longer, but that's fine. I do like to re rely a little bit on mercenaries, simply because it's... It's it's a good way to save your manpower. Look at that. Mercy and infantry. That's kind of outdated, don't you think? Uh, American, or I don't know how you pronounce that. So whatever. Right, so everyone can go there, I guess. It doesn't matter that much. Frickian. Yeah, these guys are all new, so they can do whatever. Here you go. Caroline infantry. Yeah, that's not gonna do. Simply not gonna do the trick. Oh, that'll, hell yeah, there's a lot of mercs in this army. Keep the, I'll keep the Latin Dragoons. I think those are the newest type of uh, cavalry I have, so... Yeah. But Caroline Infantry, that's quite far back, isn't it? And also, I, I've, I've been thinking that I should maybe think about... Um, here we go, here I can see how far back... Yeah, Caroline is, well, it's not that much worse, but it is worse, so... I'll I'll do these other types, uh, you know, at the moment. Yeah, I was thinking about changing it up to get a unit that has a little bit more defense. Simply because I, I keep relying on defense more than I guess originally intended. Casualties, the fire phase of combat. See, I just, I like, could you guys just leave in the comments and tell me what would be the best thing here? It seems like this is the most offensive infantry, so I'll, I'll take that. But, you know. Yep, they're all gonna go. I have a lot of, look at the ASAP infantry. <laughs> yeah. Gallop Cavalry, and yeah, I should have thought about this. I guess I just didn't. Ah, yeah, look at that Janissary, wow. Yeah, you don't want Janissaries fighting in your armies in 7056, that's not gonna work, that's not gonna work. I think that'll do it. 
Well, I haven't checked all my armies. I should do that. I guess I can do that while we wait. No mercs in that army. Yeah, so as I've said, I've been building up sort of a ne network of alliances to fight the Ottomans for me because they are s the Ottomans are stronger. I'm just hoping that my superior unit types and, um, I don't know, tactics, the fact that I'm... Hopefully I can use... Yeah, one other thing, I should probably push up a little bit further because let's face it, the front line is going to be here in Persia, not... Not over here. Maybe I could just let them invade Persia. And... Um, let them take a bunch of attrition. I might actually just do that. Can I scorch... I don't think I can scorch my vassal's land though. Let's go find out. Uh, Latin Dragger. Yeah, there's an outdated mortar. I mean, they don't hurt, but I would rather have good units. Because they all take up a bunch of force limits. No, cannot scorch it. So it will not happen. Oh well. Get some more technology. Because we can. Yeah, so I did get a decent bit of alliances. I allied Algeria, I allied Austria, and I allied Lithuania. Yeah, but only Austria is going to join me in the war, though. And now they're fighting a bunch of other people, so I'm guessing we have to wait until they're done doing that regardless. Recover army morale. That's pretty good, I guess. How far off are we for the next tech? Like, what's the Ottoman tech at the moment? Yeah, look at that. They get 28. We have 27. It would be nice to catch up by the time... Yeah, extra maneuver, infantry shock, and cuirassiers. A lot of good stuff, so let's keep waiting a little bit longer. In the meantime, I'll do some merc, merc recruitment. Because guess what? I can afford it. Let's use these forces to strengthen our frontline armies. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, actually, that's going to be a little bit unbalanced. We can fix that, though. Right. Yeah, that, guy, that army can't stand there. Well, it should be able to. Yeah, so you can go there. No, you can go there, and this army will go there. Of course, the preferable thing was would be to invade the Ottomans while they were fighting someone. But I don't think we have much of a choice. Unless they do something silly, like invade someone. Are you invading someone right now, Ottomans? Yep, you're just staying there and being peaceful. Aren't you just a nice little guy? Aren't you? Yeah. Okay, piety. We need piety, because piety gives us morale. And morale is important, especially since we're fighting a technologically superior foe. Although, I don't know. I don't know how shitty the, um... Because we have a bunch of boats here, I just don't know how, like, how useful they're going to be. Because it's only, yeah, this is a mainly a transport fleet. There are not that many heavy ships in it. Although, I don't know, maybe the Ottomans have a really shitty navy in this area. Maybe the, maybe the primary navy is over here. If that's the case, then we can do some blockades and shit. So let's bring our navy over there, we might as well. And also, let's get a... Reinforced view, that's okay, I guess. Preferably, though. Um, let's get a... That kind of a guy. We need a force limit. Wow, look at that, now we're even under our force limit. Yeah, we need to build some more troops. I know... I know we should save manpower and whatnot. Well, actually, this is a, this is our maximum, so we are actually not spending our manpower to its fullest at the moment. Oh well, let's make sure we do that then. So we'll build a new army. That will be ready to fight the Ottoman scum. And mortars. Once again, I haven't paid too much attention to the exact numbers of troops I'm recru recruiting here, but I'm just... Just doing it kind of what I feel like makes sense. 
So one thing I think I'll have to try and be better at in this war is I'll need to be better at con conserving my manpower. I was really bad at that when fighting in Siberia. I let like a gajillion amount of dudes just die to attrition. And why are these guys not marching into the front lines? They should be. I think that was one of my main mistakes in that war. It really kind of fucked me over. I think we're just going to abandon this area right here. Uh, and, and then I'm going to focus purely on this front line right here. Because since they have the superior numbers, the smaller I can make the front line, the better off I will be. Plus, since I am, you know, human, and they are the AI, I can use that kind of a tactical situation to more of an advantage than they can. Because I can do the whole tricking them into attacking me and then just kicking their butt kind of strategy, like, like I usually do. These regions are still pretty big, but it's still going to be better than Siberia. Of course, that's what I needed. The air is good, though. Get some diplomatic reputation, which would speed up the annexation of these places. Sure, what the hell. <laughs> We're still making a hell of a lot of money. That's great. I'm not funding anything, though, so that makes sense, but still. So we have 185,000 troops now. How does that compare with the Ottomans? Look at that, they have over 400,000 troops. Yeah, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be super surprised if the Ottomans actually beat me. I would be pissed, but I like I wouldn't, you know. I wouldn't rage. Well, I would maybe rage a little bit, but I would sort of get it, I guess. Bookkeeping. I kind of would want this one, mercenary recruitment. But I would need more power to get that though. Power, power that I do not currently have. So yeah, I'm going to try and level up technology one more time before I go to war. But I also kind of want to... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. I accidentally alt-tabbed out of the game. Oh well, uh, but I'm back now and uh, we should get back into it. Yeah, I'll need a lot of... I just don't... I don't know. Maybe I should not go ahead and level up my tech. Because I want a lot of power... Well, actually, I, yeah, probably I shouldn't. Well, it depends though. How... Have the Ottomans updated? No, they're still rocking 28s. I mean, the only real difference is that bonus to shock. That's the primary advantage that that gives them. I just don't know though how much how much that actually means. I'll also be claiming this for those extra for that extra morale. Where's the um, God? Where do I see that technology screen? Here we go. Level 31, Infantry Shock. Yeah, that kind of an improvement seems like a semi-big deal. So I guess I'll just wait a little bit longer. So I'll get that, and I'll bring me... Give me equal tech to them, and I'm losing money for some reason. And I'll need to save up even more power. Woo! Can convert my ruler, which I should probably do. Like so. Quality of our troops improving. Nice. That doesn't actually give us any bonuses, though. Which is kind of what I need. I don't need your prestige. There we go. Oh, Karaman. Yes, that looks very nice. That really improves the look of our nation. Now I primarily just need to... I want these three provinces before the game ends. It's about... Yeah, it's 60 years left of the game now. A little bit less. So hopefully... Yeah, I'm pretty confident we can get these three provinces in time. And that'll give us a nice looking empire. Very nice indeed. Oh, I see someone dying. Uh, that's not very good. How about you stop that? Can't... Well, none of these Prances can handle you. The Prances can't even handle me right now. Okay, oh, that's close, but it's not quite. God damn it. Well, I guess it makes sense. Fine, we'll go to... Shit, there's no, nowhere we can go. Alright, we can go to Balk. So let's go to Balk. 
More expensive technology. The fuck it, administrative. That shit's bad. Yeah, of course, the Russians were able to spread their shitty ass faith while I was gone. Well, not while I was gone, but while they ruled the land. It's kind of annoying, but what are you gonna do? Convert it. Convert away the Russians. I don't think I'm gonna bother. I don't see why. Yeah, we're gonna leave this army here, just sit around and keep. Basically, keep the entire empire under control while everyone else is off fighting the Ottomans. Sukatai has cord. Very nice. Okay, these guys can get on the navy and land over there. And I think I'm going to push further up. Yeah, let's do that. Present a strong front line. I could even push even f like I don't know though. Do the uh, Good old Ottomans gives us Spain and Malacca. No, the Ottomans do not have access through Crimea. I'm pretty sure they can get it pretty easily though. I should probably ask for it if I can. Don't know if I... Yeah, I can. Okay, let's get that access. I have far too many relations. I still have that shitty access that I don't need though, don't I? Yeah, look at that access to Karman and shit. Cancel all that. Well, actually that was no purpose too because I'm allied to these fuckers. So that was just... That didn't help at all actually. Piety, yeah, let's get into piety. Morale and all that. Right, they kind of can go there, not quite though. There we go. The remaining can go there, that will give us a nice front line. Some artillery. Alright. Tuck it in the third car Motley. Him in there, and we have another general, right? A general not being on the front line. Be this guy. How about you change your position and stand here instead? Right. Really? Fabricating claim? Well, you sure you you go you go do that. You have fun, Mr. Ottomans. Kind of like this is kind of like when you're fabricating a claim in Victoria 2, only that this time the enemy are, the enemy is actually trying to invade me or intending to do so. Anyways, pretty interesting. No, fuck you, Algeria. Help me in this war, huh? I, or I won't do shit to you. God damn it! These guys just keep starting new wars. That's not very good. Cause I need them. I can't defeat the Ottomans on my own. I'm pretty sure they won't join now. Well, actually, they would. But they won't be much of an they won't be of much help. You can see the troops are just roaming around in Germany. Which is not really wouldn't be very good to me. Well they would sort of distract some Ottoman troops and it would mean the death of Austria, but I don't care about Austria. I care about me. Yeah, I'm kinda ruthless like that. Stupid Lithuania though, I don't understand why they don't want to join. They're douchebags. Same goes for Algeria. This would be a great opportunity for them to actually take some land. I'm guessing this big army here might have something to do with it, but I don't know. Alright, so we're back up to our max, and I think I'm I'm getting really impatient here. I feel like just invading and just try and do our best. There's not much more we can do anyway, so Yep, let us invade. After I've increased maintenance and claim the faith. 
Yeah. No, wait. Stupid song, hey. Get out of here. This is my defendant. I fucking... God, how do I claim it? I can't claim it. Why not? We'll retain the title until they are beaten in a war, or another country claims the title when having more prestige. 97 prestige. That's my... That's the amount I have. You gotta be kidding with me. How much prestige do you have? 50... I have more prestige than you. What the hell? I don't get it. Remain the title... Until they are beaten in a war or another country claims the title when having more prestige. I have more prestige, so I should be able to do this. I have the required money to do so. Uh, shit, that's bad. I needed that morale. I don't get it. I don't get why I can't take it. Oh well. Not much we can do there. So I guess we will just have to live without it. They haven't increased technology, have they? No, nope, they're... They're equal to me, which is how it should be. Well, I would prefer to be better, but... Oh god. Yup, that's expensive. A lot more expensive than I can handle. How about we try and fix that? Oh, shit, that doesn't do crap. Oh, yeah, 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 we need to do this war quickly. Because we are losing money fast. This army upkeep is terrifying. I wonder, like, the Ottomans must... They must have some serious economy bullshit going on. I don't know what they are do what they're up to. No one will join except for good old Austria. And here it begins. So any good like morale people or something like that? Reinforcement? Nah, no morale people. Oh well. So should I go on the offensive or should I wait for them? I'm feeling offensive today. They all have leaders and whatnot, so should be able to just swoop in here and okay, so they are already okay. So they're not coming towards me. They're staying like on a yeah, So they're just taking a lot of attrition down there, which is fine by me. Right, let's bring the navy out and let's put it in the Persian Gulf. Okay, you go there. Can't seem to kind of decide where they want to go. And the more they just run around like that, the better for me. Because they'll just take attrition. Should anyways. See, I don't know where they're going. Maybe they're, maybe they're going over to kill Austria. That would be fun. Well, why did I... What was my cousin's belly? Trade war! <laughs> wow. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, because everyone knows that's everyone knows that's the, what all of this is about. Trade. Oh, look at that! That's good. It's gonna exhaust them real bad just standing here in a freaking desert. You're like herp derp derp. Let's stand here and die. We're the animals. We got an empire. Now, what's the point of an empire if you're stupid? So just saying, you know, just saying. All right. So now they're actually intending to invade me. No, they're not. They're just roaming about. Interesting. So their numbers are not declining. But I think they should be... Oh crap, yeah, they're going around kind of, like, kind of as I expected. Bad. I did take that province though, which is nice. I think I'll just stay here for now. Actually, you can go there. So this will be the Great Turkish Civil War. I'm going back up there. He's going to Loristan though. I kind of don't know if I don't know if I want that though. Maybe. Can't really seem to decide. No, it seems like they're all marching in there now, so I'll bring in some reinforcements. No, that scares them off, actually. Okay. It works. Yeah, the more, the longer they just stand there and die, the better. I might just keep the status quo. I don't see why I should do anything. 
Let me move up a little bit though. I don't really know what good that would do, but what the hell. So now they're coming in lower. Everyone's going into lower stat. Well, never mind then. Alright, they went for it. No question... The question is questionable whether or not we can win this. I truly do hope we can. Oh god, they have superior numbers. They're defending though, and I'm pouring in troops. Oh, so we're losing too many men. Okay, now, yeah, now we're getting some good losses here. Very nice. We're pretty much slaughtering them here. Might even have brought a little too many men to this battle. Eh, better safe than sorry. Wait, what the f- Algeria, you traitor's dick! What the hell? <laughs> oh, look at the Austrians. Aww. Poor Austria. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> You're dead. You're dead, buddy. Sorry to tell you that. Wait, how come we have how come we're winning so much? Battle of Cantern. Treviso. Someone's been winning battles. Yeah, look at that. The Austrians have been kicking the Ottomans' ass. I guess they just lost in the long run. No, here we go. Here comes the Austrians. They might be able to... I mean, if the Austrians are stupid, the Austrians can retake this. If the Ottomans... But if the Ottomans even use the slightest amount of brain, then they will be able to kick the Austrians out of their own homeland. Wow, we are inflicting really heavy losses. Look at that. 17%. That's good. Really good. Uh, they would actually accept the peace right now. I have a little, yeah, no, they won't accept Jack. Shit. Iraq. Fung. Like, how much war score would it be for to force them to give me every last province in one war? I wonder. Fifty-nine wars, fifty-six. I mean, fifty-six war score is not actually that bad. Oh, shit, they've lost some course. I see. Unless I have misclicked. Because that's still a core. Yeah, I guess they must have lost that core. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> yep, they lost that shit. Oh, fuck. Oh well. Really not that much we can do about that, is there now? So now look, I don't know where they're going, but... I will split up. Before I die from attrition. Well, I'll die too much anyway, so yeah, everyone just run in each, you know, each a different direction. Just to minimize the attrition I'll have to take here. Yeah, and you split up as well. Well, you can actually kind of handle standing there, so I would rather... Well, nah. Whatever. Oh, you. Give me fast travel or whatever. Nice, we caught them. Yeah, the Algerians should have shade attack, so I should be fine there. Yep, I was fine. It's fine, it's fine. Fine, just fine. Right. The Ottomans are dying, my frame rate is dying, everything is dying. I like it. So I don't feel like I'm quite ready to carpet siege quite yet, because they're going to bring another blob. They should have enough manpower to reinforce that army I just killed. And 50,000 did remain in it, so, and they still have this army down here, ready to do whatever. So the Ottoman, the Turks are not defeated yet. I shouldn't really call them the Turks. I'm I'm just as Turkish as they are. Really. Oh God. Well, we can afford raising it, and I have I already have far too much inflation. Unify Islam. You see, that's not gonna happen, is it? 
Because we don't own the traditional Islamic areas. We own like Asia, basically. Uh, we don't know like we don't own like the old caliphate places. Alright, so I don't know, maybe we should just go in for an go in for an attack here. I don't have any leaders though, which is kind of problematic. Well, there's a leader right here. I'm feeling crushy. Let's crush them. Let's actually try and I wanna see like I wanna see how efficient a siege would be here. Or an assault, I guess. Yeah, that worked out quite okay. See, now they're running away though. Interestingly enough, whatever. You have fun, Ottomans. Right, leave a siege and move on. Taking a lot of deaths from attrition here, which is bad. What are you gonna do? Who are these guys? Iraqi pretend they're up. Yeah, you have fun. Reoccupy the territory, please. Yeah, this is gonna kill our war score over here. The fact that the Austrians are getting anni annihilated. We'll have to liberate them at some point. Just not right now. I don't feel like it's... Well, I do kind of feel like it, but I can't really do much. So, yeah, the Ottomans retreated from this area. I guess, I, I guess we sort of scared them off. But they have some more doom stacks coming soon, I'm guessing. Well, I do wonder if they have anything. I kind of want to do some reconnaissance. I don't know how to. I don't know. Maybe I don't know if sending some horses out and taking a look at what's going on out there is actually. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'll do it anyways, just to see. You can always use force march. I'll bring a leader just to be. I'll bring like the highest maneuver guy, which will be this guy. We'll run around and we'll see if we can... Because I wonder if they have any troops down here. Because if not, then I'm going to try and sort of block off the southern part of their empire. And take it from... Okay, here we go. So that's an army right there. I know that much. Uh, ouch. Yep, that was a bad idea. Abort, abort. Can I abort, please? Well, I didn't get to abort. I'll move up to this desert place. Send this army there. Oh, maybe we should assault. Yeah, let's assault. I'm annihilating my armies with all these assaults, but I don't care much. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just leave a freaking. Let's be. Oh god. As yes, they brought an army down there, but that's not that big though. We can probably kill it if we are smart. Let's try and surround it a little bit. Get some morale and whatnot. So yeah, we'll run around here in Egypt a little bit. Okay, so now they're bringing in some uh, down some actual troops. And I, this army does not have a leader, which is an issue. Maybe we can still defeat it though, I don't know. We have huge numbers compared to them. Oh shit. Didn't really see that one coming. Yeah, there's no way in hell we're gonna be able to win that. Yeah, they're gonna get killed. Yeah, we won't get there in time, there's no need for that. To run over here, they'll try and support this battle. Yeah, I can't really see many Egyptian forces. If I was to guess, I would say they rush or the uh, the Ottomans don't have many troops down in Egypt. So if we could sort of sneak, like if we could sort of block off this area, and then we can start carpet sieging the southern tip of the empire. Um, yeah, because you can see a lot of the Ottoman troops are currently chilling out in Austria, killing them. So we'll have to see. Nice, I think we just annihilated it. No, we didn't annihilate that army. But I think I'll put that plan into work. Let's try and do that, actually. I want to kill this army first, though. Just gonna run around in the desert, which is fine by me. Actually, let's try and do a little bit of a surrounding here. Hopefully these armies have dudes. Run in there, and yeah, now they're gonna go over there. This is good. And we'll all go crush them. I 
I know I'm using maybe a little bit more Force March than I should, but I just, I don't know, I'm getting used to it. I like it a lot, so I'll do it. Yeah, that's a reasonably good defeat. Yeah, the Ottomans are even, I, it feels like they're even easier to kill than the... Um, kill than the Russians were. I'm guessing it's the European units that they lack that I have. Since I westernized them, they didn't. Alright, so I don't know where they're gonna retreat now, but I'll try and follow them. I wanna kill this army. I'll prevent them from going north, I know that much. So maybe they'll run into Egypt or whatever. That would be good for me. And also, you guys don't need Force March anymore. Oh crap. I'm just going to Fayum those, that's fine. Sinai, oh joy. Oh shit, okay, so now they're actually getting a decent army here, but I have large numbers though. Let's go to Dumyat. Oh crap, you. Would you reconsider? How about you consider dying? Sounds like fun, eh? So these are primarily light ships. Let's try and go kill them. Where are these though? Are oh, they heavy ships? Let's try and kill them anyways. Because I want to. I want to try at least. Man, we need to finish this war though. I am quickly... Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see that wasn't very smart, was it? The fact that the Austrians are losing all these battles is not very healthy for the war score. Not very nice indeed. Kill them over there. I'll keep hunting this army down. I want this to die. No freaking mercy, I say. They're just gonna run over there, aren't they? Yeah, but it can seem as if what I thought actually seems to have happened. The mass majority of these Ottoman troops are over here now. So I'll just quickly siege down all this shit. I have a bunch of armies that can do this, like this one. I'm just gonna start splitting up this army into gajillion pieces. And we'll get some stuff done. Hopefully I won't get any nasty surprises. So, so far I would go as far as saying that this war has been a reasonable success. Why don't you run away from me? Don't you dare. But I think I'll end this episode here though. It's been going on for quite a while, so I'll, yeah, I'll just end it here. Thanks so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.